Do you want to know the real reason you're tired? It's not because laundry takes up more space on your couch than humans do. No one in your house seems to care about your work deadline. Or your kid's school lunch rule is grapes must be quartered. The tasks are plentiful, but you know your to-do list isn't solely to blame. I said that line, wrong line, like I'm in a freaking play here. Let's do that paragraph again. Okay, you're on all the time trying to be present with your people, managing the emotions of everyone around you, carrying the invisible needs of strangers in line at the post office, and figuring out how to meet your own needs with whatever you have left over, assuming you know what your needs are in the first place. It's, it's too, too much. much. Or maybe it feels like too much. Because you haven't read the right book, listened to the right podcast, or found the right system. I know that feeling. I've spent an embarrassing number of hours searching for the right tools to make my life feel under control. And I have the abandoned stack of planners and highlighted self-help books to prove it. Spoiler alert, they didn't help. On one side, I felt like I had to create a carbon copy of the author's life. Even though I dislike going to bed early and don't travel to 20 cities a year on speaking events. On the other side, follow your dreams, girl. Apparently my to-do list isn't the problem. My small time thinking is. Still, I highlighted a dozen passages trying to MacGyver together some kind of plan that made sense for me. Maybe the right combination of life hacks and inspirational quotes would keep me from lying awake in the middle of the night with worry. Yet, despite book after book, quote after quote, and plan after plan, I stayed tired. Maybe you're reading this book because you feel it too. I have good news. You don't need a new list of things to do. You need a new way to see. We need a filter that allows us to craft a life focusing only on what matters to us. Not on what everyone else says should matter. My friend, welcome to the Lazy Genius Way. The Lazy Genius Way offers a different path. Be a genius about the things that matter and lazy about the things that don't. You have permission to let go, wonder, and go slow. Or to desire, hustle, and power through. Whatever you choose, make sure you're focused on what matters to you. Not what matters to Instagram. Your mother-in-law. Or the voice in your head saying you're not enough. Every choice matters because each one matters to someone. But hold only the ones that matter to you. As you live, as a unique, stunning, powerful individual, embracing what matters and ditching what doesn't. You'll empower the women in your life to do the same. I'm, I'm glad, glad we're in this together. together.